Okay, let's do a physics problem. So I made this one up myself, uh, and I even drew the picture of the stick figure guy, right? So person on a slack line, uh, right there. And the person has a mass of 70 kilograms. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down, even though it's right there. It just helps you kind of organize stuff. Middle of the line, and it deflects 10 degrees below. It has to deflect to stuff, letting you know. So the question is, what's the tension in each line? In the line, it's the same line. So we're gonna start off by drawing a force diagram. I'm gonna draw it right on, let's just draw it off to the side. Okay, so when we draw these diagrams, we have to consider what is a long range force on the object and what is touching the object. So really there's probably only one long range force, a force that doesn't have to touch, quote, touch, in order to interact, and that's the gravitational force. So there is a gravitational force on this person between the person and the Earth, and we'll label that as M G going down like that. What is touching the person? Well, nothing else is touching except for the rope. So the rope actually, uh, we can consider it having two forces acting on the person. There's a force like this, I'll call that T1. And then there's a force like this, T2. So we have, and now the most important thing since it's the same rope, the magnitude of T1 has to be the magnitude of T2. That's just the way it is. It's the same rope, if it's a massless rope. Okay, so what do we do now? The next thing is to say, what is our coordinate axis gonna be? In this case, I'm gonna pick this. You know, th there is no origin, there is no real axis. So you get to pick it to be whatever you want. And I pick this way as my X and that way as my Y. Uh, really, the only other option would be picking this as your X, but in general, if the object's not accelerating, it doesn't really matter. So once I have that, I can write my two force equations. Really, there's only one. It says F net equals zero, the zero vector, right? That's not a, that's not a scalar. And this says the total force added up on the person has to be equal to the zero vector because the person's not accelerating. So the person's stationary. So I can actually write, write this as two equations, F net X equals zero. Now that is a scalar. This is the net forces in the X direction. And then I have F net in the Y direction is zero. Okay, so what forces act in the X direction? Well, I have part of this force and part of that one, so how much? So if I think about this, here's my X component of the tension one, T one X, and that's T one Y, and that angles theta, and that's T. So I can write the X equation as, I'm gonna write this one is going to be T one times the co this is T one times the cosine of the angle gives me the adjacent side. So T one cosine theta. I messed that cosine up. I apologize. That's the x component right there, right? Now what about this one? Same thing. This is going to be minus T two cosine theta equals zero. Now they have the same angle and they're the same magnitude. So I get T1 cosine theta equals T2 cosine theta. Duh, we already knew that. So that's not that helpful. Okay, now let's do the Y equation then. So here I have T1 is pulling up. That's gonna be T1 times sine of theta. T2 is pulling up plus T2 sine of theta minus mg equals zero. So you notice this is minus because now I'm dealing with the Y component of the gravitational force. This is a vector force, so there's no minus sign there. Since T1 magnitude is equal to T2 magnitude, these two values are the same, and I can write this as two, now let's call it T, sine theta equals, and then I add mg to the other side, mg. Now I want to solve for T, I get T equals mg over two sine theta. So now we're gonna put our values in. I have 70, G is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, two times sine of 10 degrees. And I, I brought my antique calculator right here. Uh, let's see if it works, it works, okay. So this is the HP 28S. This is actually my calculator from college. I thought it was really cool at the time. I never actually did any programming over here, but it's super useful because I like, why am I talking about this? 
Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway. So I like this because it's RPN calculator, which means you enter the operands and then the operator, and it has three stacks, so you can see what you've put in there. So let's enter this in right here. So I can say 70, enter, 9.8. I could do enter and then times. I'm just going to do times. So it returns the result of 70 times 9.8 right there. That's that part right there. Now I'm going to divide by 2. So say 2 divided by. Now I need to take the sine of 10. So I can say 10. And then I'm going to switch to trig mode and say sine. I already have it in radians. That's sine of 10. Now I'm going to divide that by sine of 10 and I get this. So 1975. So T, 1975 Newtons. Let's just make a quick comparison to the mass, the weight of the person. So if I do 9.8, enter 70 times, 668. 686 Newtons. So you see here that the tension in the line is extreme compared to the weight of the person. It has to be because only the vertical component of that has to balance the, is there to balance the gravitational force. Okay. What if I wanted to have a deflection of only 5 degrees? How much tension would you need? Well, I've already done this problem. So that's the nice thing about doing it without putting in all the numbers. So now I can just say T2 is 70 times 9.8. I left off my units. 2 times the sine of 5 degrees. So it's half the angle. Let's just see what happens. So I have, uh, I can drop this stuff. 70, 9.8 times. 2 divided by 5 sine divided by 3935 Newton. So it's it's almost double as much um, and that's because near theta equals 0 sine the sine function is fairly linear. So if you do, if you decrease the angle by half, you're going to increase the tension by almost 2. But that's that. So you can see if you want to have 0 degrees, the sine of 0 is 0, and you'd have to have an infinite tension. Okay, mathematicians don't listen to that. I was just joking. It gets really high, though. Okay, the end.